Let's take a look at the concept code problem number 1b. So in the previous demo, I showed you how to use the dereference operator, which is the star. So don't get confused by the star with multiplication and all. Star has multiple uses in C based on the context. It acts as multiplication operator, it acts as a dereference operator and so on. So in this particular concept code, we are going to further try to get you a very good basic understanding of what exactly is, does the dereference operator star do or what are pointer variables. Please do not take a look at this code before seeing the explanation of this particular code in the playlist. So the explanation comes first and then followed by the demo. I have declared an integer variable age with the initial value 18. I am printing the age percentage D, it should print 18. Then age is going to be given some address by the hardware of that particular machine. So here what I am trying to do here is using percentage GLU, I am printing the address of age, okay, and age is going to show up at certain address. Now what I am going to do here is if I just print age, it is going to print the address of age, whatever it is, whatever is the address, 100, 200, 1 million, 2 million, whatever it is. The star tells me, give me the content or what is the value at that particular address. So suppose this age is at address 100, the star tells me, give me the value or content at address 100. So this printf and the third printf should give you the same output, assuming what I told you is perfectly correct. So here if you see on the left hand side of your screen, okay, age is 18, which is what we gave it the initial value. Address variable age exists at a very big number 6588, okay. And again, when I use the star operator, what the star operator really did was it went into this particular fellow, okay. What this particular, it went into this particular fellow and applied the star. So star of this gave me the content or value at this address. The content or value at this particular address happened to be 18. So this should have got you a clear idea about what happens with this star operator. Now we'll try to push our understanding a little further. What we'll do in the next step is instead of trying to print the address using this method, we will take this address of age and give it to a variable called as PTR. So let me first explain to you what I want to clarify here. I have declared a pointer PTR of the type int. What it really means is PTR can hold the addresses of only variables which are of the type integers. It cannot hold the addresses of float, double, character and so on. This will be clear when I come up with the explanation towards the end of this series using a diagram why it cannot hold the address of other data type of variables. So when I declared PTR as a pointer of the type int, what PTR can do is PTR can take the address of age. So PTR is assigned the address of age. So assume age variable had this address, just giving an assumption. Next time when we run it, it's going to change. So this 6588 address will be stored in PTR. So if I print PTR, it should print 6588. All right, but it may not print 6588 because every run the addresses are newly assigned. Now, since I told you PTR itself is a normal variable, PTR itself will have its own address. So first I am printing the address of PTR. Then when I print PTR, it is printing the value or content of PTR. Since PTR contains an address, PTR will print the address of age. And finally, we will discuss the star PTR at the last stage. So let me first run and then go ahead with the explanation. Okay, now you can see, all right, now it should be quite visible. Okay, let's hide this. This is not really important now at this point. Okay, so here if you see address of the age variable is 140, whatever it is, 503322. Now, 
when I use this dereference operator, it gave 18. Now I'm first finding what is the address of PTR. PTR has an address ending with 336. So it's almost the same digits except from 3322 because int is occupying 4 bytes. 3336 is given to this particular variable PTR. Now, since PTR contains the address of age, when I print the content of PTR or what is the address in PTR, this address, okay, if I am correct, should be equal to this particular address, all right? So here if you see, this particular address happens to be equal to this particular address, meaning PTR is having a value just like integer values have numbers, PTR is holding addresses and the address it contains is address of age. Okay. Now what I am doing in the next step is I am simply going to print the content or value referred or pointed to by PTR. So if I just print PTR, it would have printed this address 3332, which was the address of variable age. But the star tells me, don't print the address, print what is the content or what is the value at that particular address. What is the content or value at that particular address? It happens to be the age of that particular person, which happens to be 18. So let's try to rerun and reconfirm our thesis. Okay, here you see, the first thing age is 18 is the first printf. Address of age variable happens to be 140, whatever it is, 4564. Using age, using the dereference operator is 18. Now, what is the address of the pointer? 4564 plus 4, 4568. Then, pointer contains the address of age. This number should be equal to this. Okay, this is perfectly equal to each other. Now, in the last step, what I am doing here is, here, I am not printing PTR. I am trying to say what is the value or content pointed to or referred to by PTR. So, what is the value at address 4564? The value at address 4564 happens to be 18, which is also what is contained in age. So, this should further help you reinforce your learning of pointers.